y'all, it's Stacy. So it is um, shoot a monkey. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get my tripod fixed. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> it is five. 5.13 in the morning, so <laughs> needless to say, I'm super tired, um, oh my gosh, I've been just like super, super busy lately, um, I have been busy in my, um, I think some people call it a garden, but we call it a flower bed, and it's that part around your house <clears throat> that either has like pine straw or bark or some people do rocks and you know you just line it and you put like your big plants and things like that well when we moved in we um we had old pine straw because even though our house is brand new when we bought it nobody had lived here it was built in July of 2010 so it had been sitting here for like a year and a half yeah a year and a half um, so it had, Foxy's watching me, hang on, I gotta show y'all, she's so cute. Hi, Bubba. Um, so yeah, it had been sitting here for, that pine straw had gotten really old, and, um, bleh, just nasty. And I had been wanting to change it out either change it out or hire a landscaper to do it and plant fresh flowers and everything but i decided i would do it myself so friday while no saturday while joseph my husband while joseph was at work i took it upon myself to go out there at I think it was nine o'clock in the morning and i don't know if a lot of you have do a lot of yard work um, I know I haven't before we moved in to this house. I would never even cut grass before. And now I love it. I look forward to every Saturday because I get to cut grass. Um, but I did not anticipate how hard, like, how much physical labor is in, like, gardening or whatever. And if I look like I'm wide-eyed and, like, it's because that light is right in my eyes and... But at the same time, I need some lighting because it is 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, anyways, I did not anticipate how tedious it would be. So, I went out there with my rake and my gloves. And, well, that's a blister. One of the blisters I got. Uh, and I got sunburnt real bad. I don't know. You probably can't see it. But, well, yeah, you can. Um, I got sunburnt pretty bad, too. But, um, anyways... So I went out there with my rake and my gloves and my plastic bags and I raked out all of the pine straw. Okay, you might not think that that takes long, but it took me a total of six hours on Saturday and one to two hours on Sunday. <laughs> I mean, it takes a long time, especially if you've never done it before because you are just like, like you're having to rake around the bushes and in between the trees and you're you have to keep in mind that you I, okay I sat 15 15 15 full garbage bags of pine straw that is a lot that is a whole lot so I sacked 15 bags I raked all it out and um, did it all by myself no help and then yesterday I went out there at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I worked from about 10 a.m., 10 a.m., I think, till about 4 or 5 p.m. Saturday, and then also went to Lowe's, and I got some border bricks. They're so cute. They're like this, and then you just, you know, attach them, and you make a border, and then I got some bark, because I feel like, or miniature bark, I feel like it holds water a lot better, holds moisture, you know, and also it just looks better. Um, I mean, in my opinion, like on our house. So I went and I lifted all the bricks um, myself. There's 50 of them total, no, 40 of them total. I uh, lifted them like four times each because I lifted them into the buggy and then into the car and then onto the ground. So three times each. Um, so yeah, I went to Lowe's twice. And then, so yesterday morning, I got up at 5.15 and I did the other side of the house. I raked out all the pine straw and sacked it 
which I think there were four sacks of that, and that took about one hour, one and a half to two hours, something like that. So then I, oh, tried to rest, but I don't know, I've just had a lot on my mind lately, so um, I actually did not sleep for 24 hours straight. Oh, it was awful. Y'all know I have insomnia, and when I have a lot on my mind at certain times with my anxiety, um, I just can't sleep, no matter how much um, sleep and medicine I take, which I don't overdose, so, you know, it's okay, don't worry. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, 99% of the time, I'm good, I sleep, but I just, I, I had a lot on my mind, and I didn't sleep for 24 hours, and so, yeah, I was exhausted, and then after that, I took a break, and then I lifted the bark, which was, I would say, 15 pounds, I mean, if I had to get, no, 25 pounds, I would say. I got five bags of that, and I emptied the bark into the um, the flower bed. And then I spread it out with my hands. <gasps> Can't believe, like, I did all this, like, for real. Like, it's a lot of work. It really is. Um, like I said, for someone who's never, ever done this in their life. And then I spread the bordered bricks. Now, the, the only thing I did not do is... My, keep in mind, my husband was at work all day Saturday, and then Sunday, you know, he's, he was sleeping while I was doing a lot of this. Um, I'm just a really early bird, and he usually is too, but whatever. Um, it's his only day off, so I didn't expect him to get out there and, you know, go to work. But he did um, edge the border for me to create a border, and he did help me um, spread, like, one of the bags of bark, <clears throat> and he helped me line the bricks a little bit the rest i did by myself so i pretty much did it by myself so if you want to see pictures go to my facebook page um there's a few pictures and we're not completely done yet but it looks really cute i'm really proud of it so okay this video was not supposed to be about that but i guess it kind of is leading up to my weight loss um so yeah i ended up losing let me check my game boy no I'm just kidding this is my phone <laughs> Let me check my phone and make sure I get it correct. Okay, I log my weight every single day. Every single day I log it. Okay, so in this week I lost let's see six hang on. Six point six pounds. <laughs> Now, <laughs> I weighed in this morning at 172.2. I'm so excited. Um, now, I will say the lowest weight that I've seen on the scale is one, what was it? 171.2. So, I did see that yesterday. So, yeah, that's 29 pounds. And I could not be more proud of myself because I am kicking butt, like for real. Like I've gotten to a point where when I look in a mirror, I see a smaller Stacy. I do. I see a smaller face. I see a smaller decollete. I see a lot, a lot smaller legs. Um, I just see a smaller person overall. And you know, it, I should because I've lost essentially 30 pounds um, and you know I, I don't know I like I, 30 pounds might not sound like a lot to some people but when 30 pounds is you only have 25 left to go um, to reach a healthy weight then 30 pounds is a lot of weight um, like, it's so much. Ah! Like, it's a lot. And y'all just don't know, like, how proud of myself I am. You just don't. Like, it's so exciting to know that I have worked my butt off since January of this year. Which, seven months. Almost eight months. Um, you know, and I've worked out. And I've eaten right. And I've found what works for me. This is not just, you know, um what is it called a means to end for me no it, it's not this is um as trite as it sounds this is a complete lifestyle change that's what it is um 
and I love it and I love working out I love sweating getting my heart rate going I love seeing that number go down I love feeling healthier and it, it feels so good to know that I'm more than halfway there I'm, I'm more than halfway there ah! so I've got let's see 26 more pounds to go until I'm at 144 which is what I've said since the beginning of YouTube in 2010 is my goal weight my first goal weight because that is what uh, my doctor said is a healthy weight for me now as y'all know I've been you know a lot 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 skinnier than that you know like in my adult years like 98 pounds 105 pounds um so I'm not saying I'm gonna stay at 144 because I just I don't know I, I don't know I do prefer me with a little more weight than none so we'll just have to see but I just wanted to share my success with y'all so according from today I have 2.3 more pounds until I hit the 160s and oh my gosh I mean yeah so I'm so excited um I hope you're having a great weekend and I'm going back to bed now. I'm so tired. I'm going to upload this video. And comment below because I love reading your comments. It just makes my day. And I love you so much. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.